I have asked the Clerk of the Privy Council, who is responsible for the Federal Public Service, to look at mandatory vaccinations for uh, federal employees. And we're also uh, looking at federally regulated industries uh, to uh, encourage or perhaps even to mandate vaccinations for those industries. Justin Trudeau says it's time to look at making COVID vaccines mandatory for Canadian federal workers. This comes as Quebec becomes the first province to announce a vaccine passport program. Speaking in Quebec, the PM says Canadians who have gotten the shot can't be held back by those who won't. It is time that the 80% of Canadians who are doing their, their duty towards their neighbours, towards their loved ones by getting vaccinated, be able to get back more and more to normal, get back more and more to regular life. For that, those who are hesitant, it's time to get your vaccine. This comes one week after America made the same move, but at that time, a union representing public servants told City News they hadn't gotten the impression that the federal government was pushing for this. Public Health's Dr. Teresa Tam says this kind of policy decision isn't something her agency was proposing. These kind of conversations and discussions are uh, uh, being done at a deputy minister's level. Of course, we um, can provide public health guidance, uh, but in the end, I think these are, you know, occupational and labor uh, type policy decisions. And, um, it, you know, these are evolving at this time. So I don't think I could comment on that further, uh, except just to say that, yes, every, um, every option is being examined. Meanwhile, public health models forecast COVID's fourth wave could coincide with a widely expected fall election. Public health officials expressed their confidence that an election could be held safely, pointing to provinces like Newfoundland and Labrador, Saskatchewan and BC, which held elections earlier in the pandemic. Certainly, if there's a million option, people can take advantage of that. You can uh, look at your own level of risks and um, whether, and, and the other thing is accessibility, whether someone is able to access uh, voting venues uh, is important as well. So I think it's great to have an option, um, but uh, in-person voting can be done safely. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.